Hello, welcome back. We're doing cheese today. I got this from Tesco. Other supermarkets may do it because it's not exclusive for Tesco. It's made by Butler's Farmhouse Cheeses. And it's called Firecracker. Which sounds good, but then it says Farmhouse Red Leicester kissed with fiery Chipotle chilies. Now, Chipotle chilies are not hot. They're smoky and they've got a bit of a kick, but not much. And on the back, it's only 1.5% on the Chipotle chilies as well. So, and on the front, it says hot with three chilies. Do you know what they're talking about? So, let's try it. I like Red Leicester. Fiona don't, but I, do, I like any cheese. Gee, well, not any. I don't like that mouldy stuff, but... Let's get this open and let's see. Is it any good? So, smell wise, bit of smokiness going on, but it smells like your red Leicester with just a tiny, tiny little bit of smokiness in the smell. And the textures, it seems whenever they use chilies in cheese, it ruins the texture. I don't know if that's just me. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I am getting the chilli coming through. It does smell like Red Leicester. And there is that chilli smell. Let's get in and see, because you may want this on your cheese board at Christmas. Ooh. I don't know what it is. Like I say, the, the minute you put chillies in cheese, the texture seems to go out the window. I mean, that texture is nothing like Red Leicester texture. It's like your Mexicana, which is like the what I used to call processed cheese back in the day, donkey's years ago, and it was like rubbery, funny texture. Uh, and that's what this is. It's, it just seems to be every cheese that's got chilli in. Whether the chilli interferes with it when it's setting or I don't know. You have got that Red Leicester taste. And I'm getting the chillies coming through for 1.5%. That would be awesome, melted on toast. Frizzled cheese on toast. Just enough heat, really. It's not too hot that it's going to wipe you out, and you know it's there. I can feel it on my tongue. So, surprising, really, for Chipotle chilies. Right, then. Um, it's a quick one, this one, because it's just the cheese. So, rating first. I'll give that a thumbs up. It's not bad. Not bad at all. As I say, it's got that texture that you get with cheeses that have got chilli in. I don't know what it is, but it's always a different texture. But it's nice. There is just enough heat coming through from the chillies, and it has got that smoky chipotle flavour. And you can taste the red Leicester as well. It's what it says. One worth getting in. If you like Cormor Eaters, it will be too hot for you because the chilli's coming through. And, it, you know, if you only ever eat cormas, it's like, no chilli. No, 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 gotta have chilli. And you will know it's there, because I can tell it's there. So that's a no-no for corma eaters. Anybody else will be fine. Obviously, the hotter curry you normally eat, then you're not going to pick up the chilli as much. But it's there, and it's a nice flavour. So, thumbs up. Recommended. Get it on your cheese board for Christmas, because it's something different. I actually prefer this than, like, the Mexicana. Mmm. It's uh, it's nice. I'm not saying it's red hot, but the chilli's there. You can taste it, and it's recommended, and I would get it again. That's about all you can say on it, really. It's what it says. It's Red Leicester and Chipotle chilli. And what we're saying is smash that thumbs up. Helps the channel out. If you're not already, subscribe. And those that are already will tell you. It's free. And drop your comments in below. Do you like chilli cheeses? If you do... You might want to get this one. It's not bad at all. And we'll see you on the next one.